It's okay not to have all the answers. Ask the questions, reach out for help, seek wise counsel. You know, stop putting this self-imposed bondage on yourself and just reach out. People will be more than happy to help you. I remember when I was much younger and, you know, still in school, whether it was um, high school or college, and I'd be sitting in class and sometimes you just have these professors and some of them, you know, they had these heavy accents or others, you know, they just weren't great teachers. So they would be going through the lessons for the day and I would just be clueless. Like I'd be sitting in class, but I would have that, you know, like, like I'm taking notes, but I couldn't figure out what the hell is this person talking about? And I would always be afraid to raise my hand and, and, you know, get clarity on something because I just didn't want to look like the dumb person in the class. So I would sit there and I'd be looking around and everybody else, all the other students look like they knew what the hell was going on. And I'd be like, yo, damn, like, I, I don't know what this teacher's talking about, but I don't want to be the one to raise my hand and just look like, yo, here's Sean again. He can't figure it out. So I just kept my mouth shut and I would just leave and be clueless. But then I would talk to people after class and I'd be like, yo, can you, did you, did you understand X, Y, and Z? And they'd be like, no, I, and it, I just realized like, yo, I wasn't the only one. Like if I had just spoke up and just said, look, I, I'm not following, I need a little help. Can you repeat what you just said again? I probably wouldn't have failed some of them classes I failed. But it got me to thinking, right? Like, we're, we're just human beings. We're, we're all the same. Like, all of us, sometimes you have a difficult time with things. Um, some people are a little more advanced than others. But we're human beings. We're not robots. We don't have all of the answers to all of the questions all of the time. And the reality is, it's okay to ask for help. Like so many of us, we, we put these um, shackles on ourselves because we don't want to look like we're not as smart or, or we don't have it all figured out like, you know, compared to everybody else. But the reality, everybody else, you know, in a lot of cases, they're just as confused as you. They're just human beings. It, it just is what it is. And I see this all the time, especially, you know, when you get at a new job or, or, or you get a promotion and you got this new position. So many people like they get into these positions and now you got this new title and you're supposed to know, or at least you think you're supposed to know. You put all of this pressure on yourself and you walking around or you're in the meetings and you're sitting there and it's the same thing just like you was in school. You're like, yo, like, I don't know what the hell's going on. I can't, but I can't tell nobody else. I don't know what's going on because they're going to think I'm not qualified for this position that I just got. And yes, you are qualified. You earned it. But there is a such thing as a learning curve. You have to come in, you know, get settled into this new role and learn the lay of the land. You're at a new company or if you're at the same company, you're in a new position. So I'm asking you, take the pressure off yourself. It's okay to ask questions. It's okay not to know everything all of the time. None of us do. Trust me when I tell you. But we, we all have this insecurity about us that we don't want anybody to think any less of us so we walk around and we pretend and we put on this facade and you know have this perception that it's all sweet and a lot of times it's not you know me as as a a, a company um a, a, as a head of a company you know one of the things that drives me crazy i say it all the time you know i want my employees Ask me the questions. I would rather you ask me the question again and again and not get it wrong than to go out there and make a mistake and now the company looks nuts. You know, people are looking at us like we don't have our thing together. I would rather ask me the question. It's nothing wrong with that. And this is not just in business. A lot of times it's in our personal lives, in our relationships. How many times have you seen people and you know, they've been together and their relationship, it seems like it's the envy of all. They're the perfect couple, but behind closed doors, it ain't sweet. Like, like, you know, they're going through that rough patch, but they don't want to just reach out and say, look, 
everything ain't what it seems. Like, I know that we seem like we're the perfect couple, but right now we're going through some hard times. And instead of reaching out to, you know, close confidants or people who have been together for, you know, so many years and they've been through the ups and the downs, they've been through the hard times and saying, look, how did you guys get through these periods? Or maybe I can tell you what we're going through and you can recognize it in, you know, something that you and your spouse went through. How did you guys get through it? But you'd rather keep your mouth shut. No, it's okay not to have all the answers. Ask the questions, reach out for help, seek wise counsel. You know, stop putting this self-imposed bondage on yourself and just reach out. People will be more than happy to help you. I even think about myself, right? <clears throat> I remember years ago starting um, my business. And, I, you know, I'm thinking I'm doing good. Year over year, our profit margins are, are going up by two and three hundred percent. We're doing great. And then out of nowhere, 08, 09, 10 come. My God, it's a recession. As, as a business owner, I didn't never live through a recession. I'm like, what the hell? Like no new business is coming in the door. We all sitting in the office. The phones are not ringing. We're, we're doing proposals and we're trying to get new work and it's just not happening. So I had to put my ego in my pocket and I had to reach out to other CEOs and other business owners and really go to people who I trusted and I valued their opinion and their experience and ask for help. Look, this is what we're facing. How did you guys survive hard financial times? I like my goal is very simple. I wanted to keep the doors open. I wanted to make sure when payroll ran, um, came around, those checks were, they, they weren't bouncing. This is, it, it, I had to put my, I didn't have all of the answers. Like, like yes, I, I built a business, but I had never lived through a recession. It is okay. And, you know, at the end of the day, thank God I did it because the door stayed open and we made it through one of the most difficult recessions since the Great Depression. But thank God I put my ego in my pocket because I didn't have all of the answers and neither do any of you. So if you find yourself in a position whereas you are, um, you know, you, 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 you don't have the answers or you need help, I'm just telling you, I'm giving you the permission to go out there. Don't worry about looking stupid. Don't worry about people judging you. Don't worry about people looking at you like, oh, here he go again or here she go again. Screw that. I would rather you get the answer right and move on to the next situation than sit there quiet and get it wrong. Peace and love. Make every move a power move and I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.